I wanted to show you how to use Pear Deck right in Google Slide. What Pear Deck is going to allow you to do is add interactivity into your Google Slides presentation so you can ask your audience some questions right within your Google Slides. What you'll do to get started is just go ahead and start creating a Google Slides presentation as you always do. You can share it with your classmates so that it can be a collaborative team project. Then you'll go to the add-ons menu and you'll need to get this Pear Deck add-on. How you do that is you go to get add-ons, you'll find Pear Deck right there, and then you'll click for the first time and you'll add it. I've already added it, but that is what you would do. Once you do that, you would have to authenticate. But once you've done that process, the Pear Deck add-on will be right here in your Google Slides add-ons menu. So when you want to create one of these interactive slides, let me just make a normal slide here. Here is a presentation slide like I normally make. And then say I wanna ask a question as my next slide. Now, if you wanna ask a question slide, just go ahead and add a slide right here. Write the question on the slide. You could format this as you would any slide that you wanna do. So maybe I'll ask a question over here. Maybe I even want to add a little picture over here. And then to actually make this an interactive question slide, go up to the add-ons, you will go to Pear Deck and then go to Advanced and then make this a text slide because this is a question that you want students to be able to respond with text. So that's it, you would press update slide. And then what happens is you will automatically see this little bottom bar down here, students write your response, and that, you do not delete that, because that is what makes this an interactive question type. And I'll show you in a little bit what this looks like from the audience end, so that you can see their view and how they're gonna type in their response. So basically this is a text slide, here would be another text slide. You can see here students write your response. That's how I know it is a text type response. Then you can also ask some like thumbs up, thumbs down questions where your audience can actually drag a dot between the thumbs up and thumbs down. And how you do that is go to add-ons, go to Pear Deck, and then just do a temperature check slide. And so that, when you press add slide, that will actually insert the whole slide. So I didn't need to add a new slide and format the background for myself. It literally added the whole slide. That's why it says here, add a slide, add a warm-up slide, add a reflection slide, add a temperature check slide, add an exit ticket slide. That will add the whole slide, whereas advanced simply overlays onto the slide that you've already created and makes it interactive. Okay, so that's the difference. These advanced ones don't actually add a slide, you have to create the slide first, and these ones add the slide automatically. Now, when it does this pre-formatted slide, it will put this text here, could you do this on your own by default? And what you can do is you can change that to anything you want. Do you agree or disagree? Okay, so you can change anything here that you want on this slide, all that will happen is do not delete this bottom bar here because that's gonna make this a draggable so that your audience can drag between the thumbs up and the thumbs down however they're feeling. Now another slide type that I wanna show you is a draggable, like place the dot on the map where this happened, for instance, if you wanna ask a question like that. So go ahead and just add a new slide, write your question, and then you can just insert an image as the background so that you can drag the dot on top of something. So. Just go to insert image. You can pull in something from your desktop or you could just search. And I'm gonna just search another map of the United States for this one. So let me choose a different map this time. I'll choose that one, select. Boom, there you go, put it anywhere. And now to make it an interactive type, I'll go to the add-ons, go up to Pear Deck, go to advanced, and I'm gonna make it a draggable. Press next. And then you can make it a draggable dot. So you can see that that dot is right there. You can actually make it bigger or smaller depending on what you need. You can change the type of dot. So it doesn't have to be a dot for this one. Since we're placing on a map, we might place a pin. So you could change it to a pin. If you want multiple draggables, so like place it on two different places, you can go ahead and just keep adding another one. And you can also change the color just like so to whatever colors you want update slide and now you can see that those three little pins are going to be the draggable type that my audience can use when they're actually viewing this pear deck 
when you are done and you're ready to present to the class, instead of going up here to the present, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the add-ons, Pear Deck, and you're going to present with Pear Deck. And so I'm gonna just give you a little preview of what this whole thing looks like so you can get a better idea. So I'll present and it will take a moment to download and read the file into Pear Deck. Once that is done, you will get this join code. So you will tell everybody in the classroom, please go to PearDeck.com slash join and this is your join code. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up another tab to show you what it looks like from the audience end. So here is just my title slide and on the audience end, they'll see the same exact thing. Now here was that question prompt. And remember I told you that on the left side, they would see exactly what was on your screen. This is what was on your screen. And then on the right side, they'll be able to type in their answer. As the controller of the presentation, when you're ready to show all the responses, you will just press this little button right here, project student responses and all the answers that have been projected will come up. And that's about all you have to do. Then you move people to the next slide. And so here is where they could drag their dot between the agree and disagree. From the presenter end, again, you can show responses when you're ready and it will just stack up all the dots on top of one another. If it isn't, make sure that you are in this overlaid layout so that the dots will all appear one on top of another. And then the next thing we had was that map question and see as promised, this does indeed work correctly. When I project student responses, then I'll see all of them here. Again, for this type, make sure you're in overlaid layout. And that's about it. When you're done, you can go ahead and you can just end the session and it will close it for the whole class and everything will be saved in Pear Deck and in your Google Slides. So that's it.